Normally in our Mailer Lite tutorials, we show you how to create and send newsletters using our many advanced features in our drag and drop editor. But today, rather than tell you how to use our features, we're just going to try and build one live with you just to show you how easy it is to get started using Mailer Lite. So let's get into it. Right, so we're going to start out in the dashboard to create your template. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go down to My Templates. And then we are going to click on New Template over in the right. Let's give it a name. Let's call it Fitness Campaign Template. And this is going to be a newsletter template, so you want to leave it selected on Campaign, but you can create landing page templates as well. Hit Save and Continue. Alrighty, and then if you'd like to, you can create a saved custom template from one of our pre-made templates. But for right now, we're going to use our drag and drop editor and start from scratch. So we're going to hit choose. Alrighty, and then all of this should look pretty familiar to you. As you can see, we've got our brand settings already saved over here. Um, we have primary colors and that is going to be used for buttons and links and then secondary colors are going to be used for things like subheads. Alrighty, and then we want to do something as well with our Canva integration because Canva is a great design tool where you can create any image or design and then with our integration you can get them right into your MailerLite account. So let's hop on over to Canva. Okay, so now we're in Canva. If you want to get this over to MailerLite, you'll want to head over to Apps. And then within Apps, you're going to type in MailerLite. And then hit Connect. And then you'll want to select the account that you would like to connect to uh, your Canva account. So we're going to go with our demo account. Hit Authorize. And you only have to do this once, by the way. And then you can select which folder you want to export your design to. So we have it set to all, but you can select whichever one that you have in your file manager. And then hit continue. You can select your file type. And then you can also change the size, limit the file size, compress it, leave it a transparent background if you need, and then hit export. Alrighty, and then once you get the success message, you'll want to head back over to MailerLite. Alright, so we're back, and what we're going to want to do first is remove this first block up here. And we're going to put our header up, so we'll head over to Elements, and then drag over an Image block. And then, what you do is click Replace Image. Now you can see that the image has been put into the File Manager via the Canva integration. So there's no more need to manually download or upload the assets from Canva. Simply hit insert and there you go. The image is in your email newsletter. Now let's see, we also want to add maybe an email signature as well, because I think that'd be a good thing to have as far as templates go. We'll go over to the left sidebar and see if we can find the block that we want. Maybe let's get into the special category. And then drag it into the editor. Say Alex. Then I'll be the chief gains officer for this one. There we go. And of course we could change this image to um, whichever image that you'd like. If you have an image that you want to use, um, feel free to do so. For now, we'll just leave it there as a placeholder. And then as well, if you are editing your template and you have certain titles you want to change, or if you have images that you want to put over here, you can always customize these in the future to match um, what you'd like to have as far as content goes. As well, if you'd like to, you can also change the background to whichever colors that you'd like to have, or you can even put an image back there if you'd like. Um, for now, we'll just leave the image the way that we have it, but just know that you can select from any number of colors or any number of gradients or images. And um, there's really a lot that you can do when it comes to customizing the template to match exactly how you'd like it to be. And then once you're done editing that, you'll hit Save Template. 
which will bring us over to the template gallery. And then once you save your template, how do you access it again when you go back into Mailer Lite, say if you're on your dashboard? Because we can see that it's there right there. This is where you'll be taken after you hit save template. But let's say you've logged out of Mailer Lite and you're back at your dashboard again. So let's say you're back in Mailer Lite, um, you log into Mailer Lite and you're at the dashboard. How do you use this template that you've just created? Well, you'd use it in your campaigns. So the same way that you create any campaign, you go ahead and create your campaign. Um, you can select whichever campaign you'd like to select to use this with. Let's go with regular for now. Um, say my template. This is how you use the template. Templates and then of course select recipients. We're just going to kind of breeze through this for now so you can see how to select the actual template that we've created. So once you get to the email design, after you hit content, uh, you'll select my templates. And then you'll be able to find the template that you've created right over here. Select choose. And there you have it. You'll be able to edit the template and customize it any way that you'd like right from here. So say we adjust this title. Um, let's say maybe call it workout of the week and then you can start your article here so following workout of the week maybe in this section you could put um, a type of workout that you would like to give your readers so like maybe three steps let's make this into a numbered list and then we can even include a video block if you've got a sort of video guide that they can follow along and then a really easy way to find blocks um, just go into the search and then type in what you're looking for. So we're looking for a video and click and drag that in here. And then we don't have a video here, but if you did have a video, you click into the block and then you can enter your video URL. And then you can get, when you do that, you'll get a preview of what your video is going to look like. And then we have a video link below for a tutorial on how to add videos to your newsletters. As well, if you've got a block that you've customized and you really like how it looks and you don't want to have to re-add that block every single time, you can save that block. So if you go into the section here, you can click this button. Let's show you a better, easier example. Here you go. If you click this, you'll be able to save this as a template. And then when you do that, it'll go over into your saved blocks. So you notice the same icon over here and you'll be able to re-add that into your newsletter. Um, but yeah, that is how you get started using a template. You can save it, you can use it as many times as you'd like. You can create saved blocks as well. So if there's a specific block that you created that you like to use and you'd like to use it again, um, you can save it and then you can have it in here. Um, but this is how you would get started using an email template using MailerLite and our Canva integration. And that is how you create and use a template in MailerLite using our drag and drop builder. Feel free to create as many as you want because there are no limits to how many you can make and use in MailerLite. And I will catch you in the next video.